Solana just unveiled their plans in gaming. This is something that since the inception of Solana, we haven't had concrete proof that Soul Gaming was going to become a thing. And yes, it has, as I am officially the first content creator to ever in the history of Solana be onboarded onto the Solana Games Ambassador program. I'm gonna be touching base on my personal picks on the top three games that I'm looking forward to. Uh, not only am I going to be talking about of course, the tokens and all that kind of stuff. I'm going to be breaking it down like this. First, it's going to be an awesome game that hasn't launched just yet, but I do think has a lot of promise. The second one is one that already exists that I think is undervalued. And the last one is a cryptocurrency game that I think shows a lot of promise is spearheading Solana Gaming and I think is going to absolutely kill it in the year of 2024. Because guess what? Once a blockchain says that they're going in on gaming, then they've got the support, the fam. So if you enjoy this kind of content, as always, like and subscribe. No, Solana didn't pay us to make this video, but I am very bullish on Solana Gaming, so I do think it's high night time that we cover it, and let's get right into it. So let's cover the macro situation just right before we get into this. Solana right now, it's having congestion issues. I do think that these are very short-term sighted. These are going to be fixed. These are things that I think is having a bit of negative price action for Solana, but let's be honest, like it's still up 22% on the month, despite the fact that they're having these issues. There's really no chain out there right now that is getting Getting as much love and attention as Solana. So for games to be building on there, to me, seems like a massive opportunity for volume in gaming. So let's get into the plays. The first one is Nine Heroes, the game that hasn't come out just yet, but I do think shows a lot of promise. They are a Overwatch-like game where there's an objective that you do have to compete for. It's a 6v6, there are Guardians, there are different mech types, there is Seraph, I don't know, Atlas, Spartan, Ghost. I know all these by memory because I actually have played this game religiously. I've been farming the heck out of their mission airdrops. Unfortunately for you, you, you can't do that right now. The missions has officially ended. They did announce today, unfortunately, that their pre-alpha demo has concluded, but there is something coming up for the people that are late. And that's the fact that those with catnip hopefully we've been collecting these, are going to have a use case. And so maybe playing Nine Heroes is going to give people the opportunity to go in and earn something with these catnaps. I did dig into the utility of catnap for the people that are curious. Catnap is the in-game premium currency used to purchase in-game items, and it's earned as a reward from playing the game. They believe in the value of a stable currency to provide a medium of exchange and for in-game rewards. So pretty much, it's the currency between the currency. There is a governance coin or the, you know, end all be all ecosystem coin and it's called Nyan. Nine is their native token that's used within their ecosystem for, you know, their marketplace fees or mint fees, everything they're in. Nine's supposed to be deflationary, hopefully it is. And so that's their token on the blockchain. Nyan, I am, I don't even know what to tell you. It's the best crypto game I've played so far. That's saying a lot. Of course, it's still a crypto game. I, I don't see it being better than League of Legends. I do see it being hyper competitive in relation to every other game that is currently in the market. And so I would be shocked if I did not see this over 500 million FTV at the time of launch. If it's lower than that, I don't even know what to say. You know, the catnip, you earn this in game. I did notice that whenever I won in game, I did notice that I did receive this catnip token. It's not on chain. It's one of those soul bound tokens in game, but I'm sure that's going to have some kind of use case uh, to give you in game rewards, which is always awesome. Another really cool thing that you should know about Nine Heroes is it has a pretty big esports team. We did actually compete against the Xborg, another esports team with Legion, which, by the way, if you're not a Legion yet, you should go ahead, click the link in the description, and join because, yes, we are competing in esports and yes we are dominating because we beat export we got to flex our wins right even though they were probably playing on eu and all that kind of stuff but there are more esports teams that are joining nine heroes here we've got fanatic we've got evil geniuses as well as g2 esports that are going to be covering content i presume on nine heroes which is just a huge deal i mean this is being built on solana so i'm very excited to see what comes from nine heroes 
That's the first game. Second game is Mix Mob. Now, this Mix Mob token isn't just for one game. It's a studio. They're building multiple games. If you look at their roadmap, you are going to see that they have plans for a second game demo on quarter four of 2024. But what we're talking about right now is not this second game. We're focusing on Mix Mob Racer because it is the current game that is available right now for the Mix Mob ecosystem. Now, what is Racer? Well, Racer embodies a lot of those traditional play to earn characteristics, but really molds it to a more high fidelity version of what we thought of as Axie Infinity. It's a card strategy racing game. You're racing along, you know, you have to go ahead and actively use abilities, try to beat the other guy. Kind of simple, but they've got really cool stuff in the esports realm, or at least in the wager betting realm. You can actually bet sides, which is their token in their ecosystem, not the Mixmob token, the actual token within the game. It seems like a lot of these games are moving to a model where they have some kind of soulbound token within these games. And then to cash out, we turn them into MXM, which is the cryptocurrency token. It's, it's a pattern that you're going to notice about a lot of these different crypto games that are coming out and something you should definitely know. And so we can actually bet these sides on who you believe is going to be the winner. It's a very interesting model and I think makes for very exciting streaming opportunities for people that want to go ahead and participate within. Uh, their team, you know, Simon, their CEO, has managed multi-million dollar projects, has absolute titans in the game industry. We got over here, David. By the way, everybody's doxxed. If you're not doxxed in crypto gaming, it's not. It's not happening anymore. But, you know, they've been the design leads for some huge games. We got FIFA Mobile at EA. I'm very bullish on Mixmob uh, because of the fact that I think they're undervalued right now. If you look at their market cap, we've got an $8 million market cap, $58 million of fully diluted valuation. They recently had their launch and they have had a lot of that negative pressure uh, since then. It's pretty normal after launches, you know, just kind of waits until the next big catalyst. And that next big catalyst is going to be announced very soon. By the time you're watching this video, this call will have happened. However, here's the big thing. They're going to be announcing the mobile launch date for Mixmob. And look at the price of this thing. It's at what, 5.8 cents? I don't even know what it's gonna be at by the time of this video. I'm assuming it's gonna be higher. But you can sign up, download, do missions, and you could go through the leaderboards for rewards. I assume these are SUD tokens that could be converted into MXM. The more important thing is that their mobile launch is gonna be a big deal. It's gonna be a really big deal. That is their primary catalyst for their racer game. It's the make it or break it for Mixmob. So if this project is to be a success, if Racer is to be a success, then their mobile launch has to go off without a hitch. I'm assuming a lot of content surrounding Mixmob is going to be coming around this time. You know, we've worked with them in the past in campaigns. So they've shown that history. They've shown that history for very exciting things to come near big milestones. I'm assuming mobile launch, it's gonna be that massive catalyst that Mixmob has been waiting for post launch. I always tell people, you know, don't grab tokens on launch day. You wanna wait at least two to three, if not a month. I mean, for getting into these. So a lot of these projects are timing catalysts behind them and very excited to see what Mixmob is building uh, because they are my undervalued pick for Solana Gaming. And so my final pick for the most exciting exciting blockchain gaming project currently on Solana right now. And this is not gameplay wise. I still love you, Nyan Heroes, but this is pure economies of scale is Star Atlas, the next gen space game built on Solana. If there's any game in crypto right now that is embracing the DAO force, the decentralized vision of what crypto may be, it's Star Atlas. They've gone ahead and given the power to the people to develop whatever they want to go ahead and develop. They have a roadmap that is so extensive. It, it got released pretty recently. It's just so extensive. It goes for years and years and years and years. This is not a small project. It's not a small feat. This is going to be a project that is going to be developing for a very long time. And so there's been this, let's just say, misunderstanding for what Solana and Star Atlas are supposed to become. Star Atlas is not trying to build this one massive product and that's all we have. They're trying to build this over time. Think of building alongside a company Star Atlas has shipped out a product already called Sage Labs. And this is why I'm so excited about them. It's because Star Atlas has been making a lot of money. <laughs> and it isn't just like any money. This is like pure high octane sales. And we love sales because that's the purest form of money in crypto gaming. And the number one issue these projects have is they don't know 
how to go ahead and make money after they do their token launch. And so Star Realist achieved, look at this money here, $1.34 million in revenue from game asset sales and marketplace fees in the first 20 days of March, 2024 alone. Brand new all-time highs over the past year. They've been making a lot of money. And before, you know, you're like, okay, it's only $1 million. I'm a moon boy. I want bigger numbers. I've got bigger numbers for you. Star Realist, they, they, they've done it. They've gone ahead and done it. They've been selling Titan ships. Titan ships are the most highly coveted assets in the Star Atlas ecosystem. And if you did not know, the first Star Atlas Titan has been rumored to be sold for upwards of, what was it? Just $5 million, Phil. So this project has made money. <laughs> this project's doing pretty well for itself. And they have Sage Labs. If you didn't know what Sage Labs is, if you're a spreadsheet warrior, if you're someone that really gets into the data and you're into hyper analyzing profitability, you know, whether you're buying fuel, whether or not you're providing meteorites, all these different resources, you can go ahead and go onto Sage Labs, whether you're a pirate, someone that tries to go ahead and destroy others. There's many different facets of what Sage Labs is. It's the more complicated game in the Star Atlas ecosystem, but it is the one that's bringing a lot of the hype towards Star Atlas, which I really love. This team is showing that they're able to ship out products that can get and maintain solid revenue numbers to show that they're more than capable of building this product out over the course of the next four to six years if it takes that long. If we look at where, you know, the Star Atlas token is right now, a uh, ticker symbol Atlas, you're gonna see that they've been maintaining themselves pretty well. And for Solana Gaming, they have to double down on Star Atlas because Star Atlas has been that project that is just that grandiose vision to show what potentially blockchain gaming can provide. And that's superior economic models over what we have right now. So I'm omega bullish on what Star Atlas is building. Uh, you know, Michael Wagner, absolute genius. And that's Star Atlas. Now, very quick honorable mentions before we end this video. We've got Aurori. They have built out Seekers of Tokain. It's a JRPG game. Go out there, kind of like Pokemon. Get out there with your nefties, dominate people. Aurori, it's been sticking out since the bear market. They've been dominating. And I do think they're going to have their time to shine once again, just not at the top of my list. And Honeyland has one of the more superior economic models within Web3 Gaming. Do they have the best gameplay? I don't think they're trying to have the best gameplay, but they do have an economy that has sustained itself for quite some time. And that's something we definitely have to go ahead and celebrate. So let me know your thoughts in the comment section. What's your top Solana game? I mean, like, have you found the next thousand X? Am I fading your game? If I am, then you better comment because I'm not going to go ahead and learn about it otherwise. If you enjoyed the video, like and subscribe, stay classy, and that's all.